What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved on our solo server-ish session type thing. This isn't really solo server at all, is it? Uh, it's been a while, again, another hot minute. A bunch of stuff has gone on in life that has completely prevented me from doing anything of the things that I really super like to do, like streaming and recording and all that kinds of fun stuff. And uh, It's been, uh, been about two, three weeks since my last stream. It's been about a month since my last video. But I'm here with some exciting-ish news. Um, today is, uh, is the day, man. Today is the day. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Uh, we are, uh, as a community on the server, we're preparing to go fight the Broodmother. Everything's all set and ready to go. Um, the last little, well, I shouldn't say everything's all set and ready to go. The last little bits of everything is, uh, is being taken care of. Uh, we've got the last of the metal being cooked up right now uh, to craft up. The remaining Rex saddles that we need. We had found a blueprint. We're all set with that. I found this Thylo blueprint. I actually got a Thylo that I'm going to be taking to Scorched Earth. Um, and yeah, so today is the day. Actually, tonight is the night we're going to be going and, and doing the Broodmother. It's uh, it's morning-ish. It's mid-morning-ish right now. And I thought I'd get an episode in uh, just to give you guys a quick heads up as to what's going on before everything actually happens. Uh, so, like I say, I was discussing everything with the other community members uh, in our in our Discord. Uh, we're all set to go. We're going to have a, having a couple other people joining us. A good friend of mine uh, uh, might be joining us, another streamer. We'll see as time progresses through the day. Uh, but everybody's got a Rex to go on, uh, and we're all set. And uh, Rodney here, uh, King of the Jungle... Uh, from what I understand, is going to be the tank. He's got 51,000 hit points, and we're going for an Alpha Broodmother. So he's going to sit there and he's going to tank the whole thing. We have 18 Rexes, we have a Deodon packed full of meat and ready to go. And what else? We had something else. Oh, and a, U a UT, a Uteranus, so that we can get a good, uh, a good buff going. But... Uh, so for today, what I'm doing is, uh, is I'm just going to be going out and just really gathering just a bit of prime because uh, over the last few weeks, it's the same as the last couple times I had to take a break and not record. I've still been playing. Everything's still alive. I've been taming stuff when I get the opportunity. I've been gathering stuff. Um, I just, I need some some more hide is is all. And it's, it's actually really weird that I need hide given the amount of stuff that we actually kill and and the amount of hide we have, but each one of these saddles is like 6,000 hide, 6,000 fiber, and like a thousand metal. So it's uh, it's an expensive process. It's been going on for the last two days. Uh, the other thing we have to do that I had, didn't think about is we need a bunch of pelt uh, because we need ghillie, and we have some really nice high level uh, ghillie bloops that we're going to be using. So what what? Why is everything bad? What what are you? Oh, a pego. Anyway, so yeah, we've got some really nice high-level ghillie that we're going to be crafting up, uh, which means we need a bunch of pelt, and I'm going to uh, be working with uh, Reptile a little later on today before the event happens, and we're going to go get all of the uh, organic polymer we're going to need, and we're going to craft it all up at his base. Uh, the whole server has merged tribes so that we're ready to go for this. But yeah, man, it's uh, it's not going to be a super, super long video this morning. Uh, I don't really have a lot to, to share with you guys other than what I really shared, unless you want to hear about my real life kind of stuff. I suppose I could share. I don't really share a whole lot of real life kind of stuff with you guys, but I could, I could do that just to, to make a bit of filler while we're, uh, we're just out gathering stuff. So, uh, for those of you that don't know, I work in the telecommunications industry. I'm a... I'm a I'm a telecom engineer. I design and maintain internet TV and uh, and television uh, systems uh, for a company. And for the last year and a half, so before I started this series, while I was still streaming, really, um, I had been working what they refer to as part-time. Now, 
you have to understand part time to them isn't like what part time is for the rest of us. Like when you think part time, all oh, you're thinking uh, 20 hours a week, and that's what I was supposed to be getting was around 20 to 30 hours a week at most. But I had been working, I've been working full time hours since I really started there. The only difference is because I was classified as a part-time member, a part-time employee. Hello, hello, you angry things, Micro Raptor. Um, what it did is it allowed them to change my schedule without much notice, which is why I haven't really been able to maintain any type of schedule for streaming and videos because. Just when I would have time that I thought to go sit down and record or edit, uh, everything would be changed and I would have to go into work. So, now that I'm a full-time employee, or what they classify as a full-time employee, what it really translates down to for me is I have a much more set schedule. So I'm going to be able to come up with a streaming schedule. I'm going to know my schedule six weeks in advance. They can't change it as often without penalties. Um, stuff like that so it's it's gonna be good for the channel man um, another big thing in, in regards to what we're doing next because Scorched Earth, Earth is the next season that we're gonna be doing I'm actually gonna be starting recording for that uh, tomorrow morning this is gonna be a, a two video day today on this Saturday uh, while we do the do this video and then the broodmother and then tomorrow morning I'm gonna be recording um, some scorched earth and we're gonna have some more community members uh, some more people have become a, a bit more interested in what's been going on here on our archaic noob server uh, and they're looking to come play too and I'm all for that I mean I've got a, a decent sized server and there's really only maybe three or four of us that play on it uh, so to get some more community members to maybe have the opportunity to do stuff with uh, is is exciting for me. I'm, I enjoy it. I, I play video games really to play video games with other people, so I'm excited to have more community members to play with. And uh, and we'll be able to do some different stuff on Scorched Earth. I mean, it's uh, it's not the island. It'll be a little different. Sarko skin we need. Is this alphabetized? Because it should not be. It should be unsorted. Oh, no, we wanted it sorted, didn't we? Uh, alphabetical's fine. We'll just keep it like that. Um, but yeah, so more community members. Uh, I'm going to dump these aloe brains, keep those raptor claws. Uh, is a pretty big deal. Pretty big deal for me, man. That, that, that micro raptor was really cruising. Um, to be able to do some more stuff with. I, I enjoy Ark. I really like Ark. But I'll be perfectly honest. When, when I usually get to about this point in an Ark... Uh, game and the only reason I got here is because the server that we're uh, we're on the settings really got mangled up and I actually did find out what happened. I'm just not going to convert it back uh, right now. I am gonna keep it the way it is until we get to Scorched Earth. But what basically happened is somehow um, in the config for the server, someone went in and checked the uh, single player settings. Oh, I needed that. Damn it. Uh, so what it did is instead of having the regular 1.6 multiplier or the regular no multiplier, uh, it multiplied everything by nine. So when I put in 10 times tame, it came out to 90 times tame, stuff like that. It was weird, weird uh, multipliers based on single player. Anyway, more community members in Scorched Earth. Um, two videos today. You'll probably see them over the next little bit uh, tomorrow, which will be Sunday. May 13th, an interesting day, May 13th, um, new content, Scorched Earth content, uh, fresh start, the way the server works is going to be very different than the way this one works, the rates are nowhere near as high, it's going to take a lot longer to do stuff, um, which is going to be more inducive for more fun. Uh, for playing games, which is what it's all about really. I mean the video making the videos and editing the videos is one thing But the playing of the games and having the fun is the super important stuff, and that's what we're into So the rates aren't going to be as high. There's less XP. There's going to be less gather. There's going to be um, You will not see a Rex with 50k health. I actually have been playing with the server settings um, The same as you won't see stuff with two three four thousand uh, percent damage multipliers you're gonna see a the, the way it works is going to be very much 
uh, similar to a couple other YouTubers that I watch for their for our content uh, on just entertainment value while I'm at work. Uh, what you'll see is you'll see a lot of stuff walking around with a thousand to twelve hundred percent melee damage, and between depending on what type of dino it is, between five and ten thousand hit points. Uh, stamina being about what it is. Now, the 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 bread dinos, of course, because of just the regular multipliers, are going to be a bit better. But that's what you're going to be seeing, peeps. And uh, and I'm super excited for it, because, to be perfectly honest, to walk around on this Rex, like, I would not be worried right now to come across the Giga. I really wouldn't, and the game just... Uh, you get to a point in the game where it's just... Like, you're you're not worried about anything that can happen, and that's that's my biggest issue... Uh, with this game is you eventually get to a point where there's just nothing that's going to bother you like I can walk up this mountain and go crunch 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 and there's uh there's nothing I mean like I said the biggest threat for me in this game uh, would be a giga and I'm not scared to come across a giga at all so you know that's why I like starting the game over so much because it's way more way more difficult it gives you more stuff to do I like the starting over the fresh so it's uh, it's super exciting for me when when something like a, a server wipe comes along which is what's going to be happening like I say after we finish the brood mother tonight uh, there will be a couple more people they're just gonna be on they're going to want or they want a little extra time we're going to we've got a rule on uh, scorched earth that bring dinos yes but you can't use them until you have the ability to get them on scorched earth so for an rg if someone's flying around on an rg at level 20 we know very well they're not obeying by the server rules and i've got uh, i'm not going to be doing that i'm i've got my dinos that i'm going to be keeping like rodney i'm, I'm probably going to keep rodney um he's not a super great rex even for a bread rex um, I know the server settings right here make him seem like, oh my lord, what are you talking about, Ark? And he's, you know, with the, like super duper racks, 50k hit points. But the server settings are just going to be different. Oh, well, I PO'd something off. Um, I will be bringing Baron, our crazy mutated egg with 100% imprint that we've got. Like, I, I can't, that, that, that RG, I don't think I'll ever match up with another RG ever. So, Baron will be coming with, uh, I got a Thylo that no one's seen yet named Meeks. And Meeks will be coming with me because uh, she is just absolutely amazing. She was a 150, um, and she is definitely coming with. That's a level 20 Equus. I have a, a 145 Equus that I tamed uh, that's actually at the base now. I haven't put a single point into it yet. Uh, I want to see what stats look like, uh, real stats look like on the other server before I put any levels into anything else. And it's getting super dark, so let's have some gamma. Did gamma not? There's some gamma. Um, but yeah, I, I, I want to I wanna do the stuff and things, but I want to do the stuff and things that I know what it's going to look like when I get to the other server. So I'll, uh, I'll give you that quick rundown, just one second, peeps. So we're going to be taking Rodney. Uh, Fiona, she's she was a 150 Spino. I'm really tempted to try and keep her, but I might just upload her and keep her in storage uh, until it's time to go to like Ragnarok or something like that. Uh, let me grab this, and eh, I'll take the pelt too. Um, but yeah, so we're taking Baron. We're going to be taking Rodney. Uh, here's our 150, or no, sorry, our 145 Equus that we found named Zonky. Uh, I don't know, just, it looks nice, maybe, Zonky? I don't know, we'll, we might change the name. But yeah, just a couple of levels on Zonky, and I haven't really put any points in anything there. We'll get to that later. Uh, hide, there we go. So yeah, I've got everything that I need now to craft up some more uh, of the Rex saddles that we need. Reptile actually has it over at his base. Uh, I've got to get some ghillie on the go. Reptile says he's got better bloops for the ghillie than what I do. But we're uh, we're going to get stuff and things done, peeps. In the next video that you see, uh, we're going to be geared up. We're going to go fight the Broodmother with our, uh, our series of Rexes that we've got. Uh, we hatched some Rexes last night. 
um, Reptile and I did and leveled them up a bit. Found a couple of drops, killed a bunch of alphas that we found wandering around, stuff like that. And, and you know, they're, they're all walking around with like 25k HP and over 1000% melee damage. They're going to be some serious contenders and we're taking, like I say, 18 of them into the fight. But yeah, so the next video that you see, peeps, we're going to be all set up and ready to go. And, uh, and I'll give you the breakdown after everything's done and, and I will see you at the battle, peeps. Thanks for hanging out with me to well for this particular video. I'll see you in the next episode, which will be in just a couple hours, real life time for me. Um, I'm just gonna continue to gather up some stuff, get ready to rock and roll, and I will see you in a few hours, peeps. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the like button if you like it. Share and favorite the video if you see so. And have a great rest of your day. I'll see you tonight, peeps.